All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, we are the brothers from the GMSO, GMS West Palm Camp, and we're coming back again through the Spirit, you know, to make a Lord willing, uh, edifying lesson. And we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shad, Ba'ashem, Akakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Those are the true leaders of the nation of Israel that the Lord has set forth on this earth to lead and guide and be great examples for the nation of Israel. And also, we want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men. That are laboring, toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And also, we want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children that's believing and that's serving the Lord to the best of their ability. We want to say Shalom. Shalom. All right, so through the Spirit, you know, brother and I, we were just chopping it up through the Spirit of Power, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And the Lord was putting some inspiration on the brother Gabar. You know, we was talking about how, you know, in learning, we need to be guided. You know, we need the guidance of someone who has the experience of what we're trying to learn when we're ignorant to something that's just the way the lord has nature set up okay and ultimately we need the guidance of the holy spirit and it is the holy spirit that guides us to the wisdom knowledge understanding that we have in yahweh bashmael shah and this this work is not of ourselves it's of yahweh bashmael shah all right this is john chapter 6 in verse 63 it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profits nothing so it's the holy spirit that makes us alive so that's that's the reason why we able to learn and grow in this truth and and to comprehend this truth because hey, this gift that's that the lord has bestowed upon us is not given unto uh, uh to majority of our people 10 out of 10 people that you see they don't have the Holy Spirit. They're, they're, they're spiritually dead, all right? And it says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You see, and this is how we, we, we woken up, all right? We came up out of that dead state of mind, all right? You know, uh, and it goes into that in Ezekiel 37 chapter, you know, the valley of the dry bones, all right? Because the Holy Spirit, you know, that, 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 that opened us up into this truth, all right? You know, and able to see and read, you know, and get understanding. All right. Come on. And a matter of fact, the scriptures speak about how the qualities of the Holy Spirit is to be lively. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, starting at verse 16. It says, For in his hands are both we and our words, all wisdom also and knowledge of worksmanship. So in the Lord's hand is how we conduct ourselves. It says, Our wisdom and our words. So the Lord, he makes someone eloquent. Or he makes someone not be able to speak eloquently, okay? Moses told the Most High that he's of a, a of a slow tongue, if I'm not mistaken, or of a slow speech. And the Lord said, "Who maketh the deaf and the blind and the dumb? You know, do not I the Lord?" And the Lord said, "He's going to be with Moses. He's going to speak for him. He's going to be his uh, mouth and teach him what to speak." So that's the Holy Spirit God in us, you know. So you don't have to be a deep brother in this truth to be a deep brother in this truth, so to speak. And what I mean is deep, as in the deep of the wisdom of this world. You know, you're real eloquent and politically correct, even though there's nothing wrong with being polished. But at the same time, that doesn't stop you from being a man of the Lord, you know? Because really the true polishing is the spirit of Yahweh Bashmael Shai. Because the scriptures say that the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. Yep. All right, and now it says, For he hath given me certain knowledge, and of the things that are namely, to know how the world was made and the operation of the elements, the beginning, ending, and midst of the times, the alterations of the turning of the sun and the change of seasons, the circuits of years and the positions of stars, the natures of living creatures and the furies of wild beasts, the violence of winds and the reasonings of men, the diversities of plants and the virtues of roots and all such things are either secret or manifest, them I know for wisdom, which is the worker of all things taught me, for in her is an understanding spirit Holy, one only, manifold, subtle, lively. Okay, going back to what the brother said, the Holy Spirit quickens us. To be quickened means to be made alive. All right, because we were once dead in our sins. We were those valley of dry bones. You know, but through Yahweh Shai's spirit, Yahweh Shai's spirit, we've been quickened and made alive unto righteousness. You know, Yahweh Shai Rathasa, we be a part of that number. Okay, now it says, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good. Kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all understanding, pure and most subtle spirits. 
you know so that's just uh qualities about wisdom man all right and it's and it's all through the holy spirit but it says the lord gave it to us also just another quick one lord willing this is wisdom of solomon 8 starting at verse 21 it says nevertheless when i perceived that i could not otherwise obtain her referring to wisdom i could not it says except the most high gave her me and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was i prayed unto the lord and beside him and with my whole heart i said you see so it, king solomon saying it was a point of wisdom to know whose gift she was meaning it's yahweh basham gift so to speak the most highest gift of wisdom you know he's the one who gives it to us so that's the point right there okay. you got that mm -hmm. yep go ahead come on about So this is this is Acts chapter eight and verse twenty-seven, and it reads, "And he arose and went." And be can you start at twenty-six? Call okay. right, twenty-six. Yeah, I know. I have read it. Call twelve. It's Acts eight and verse twenty-six, and the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, "Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down." from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia and eunuch, eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for the worship. Yep. So the spirit of the Lord sent the angel to talk to Philip to go talk to the Ethiopian eunuch. All right. And it says he came to Jerusalem to worship. He came to Jerusalem during the, their certain feast. There's three feasts, feast of dedication, feast of weeks. And, uh, it's like the feast of dedication, the feast of tabernacles and, um, the Passover. Those are the three, uh, feasts where we're supposed to go back to Jerusalem and worship. So this goes to show you that the Ethiopian eunuch was a Jake, you know, he was just scattered abroad. Um, verse 28 was returning and sitting in his chariot read I I says I says the prophet which is Isaiah okay. verse 29 then the spirit said unto Philip go near and join thyself to this chariot yeah so quick quick point verse 28 where it says he was reading Isaiah the prophet that goes to show you that for you Christians who don't believe in the Old Testament it goes to show you that people in the new testament was reading out of the old testament verse 30 and philip ran thither to him and heard him reading and heard him read the prophet i says i says and said understandest thou what thou readest right so notice how i said the spirit said unto philip go near to his chariot so philip went near he asked him if he understood what he was reading in isaiah and then this is what uh, the Ethiopian eunuch said back to Philip, man, and he said a, a real humble and spiritual answer. But the point being, it's the spirit who guided Philip to do that. Go ahead, brother. Come on, verse 31. And he said, how can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Right. So he's saying, how can I understand unless somebody guide me? The spirit needs to teach us, you know. When you, when you don't know something You know what I'm saying You don't know You need somebody to teach You need somebody to show you That's why the Holy Spirit teaches us That's why the Lord said In Sirach 18 I get this for edification Real quick Lord willing You know Jake be trying to be You know it's all through the spirit though, But uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes 18 and verse 13 It says The mercy of man is toward his neighbor But the mercy of the Lord Is upon all flesh he reproveth, which is means you correct somebody. That's what to reprove means, is to teach. And nurtureth, and teacheth, and bringeth again as a shepherd his flock. He hath mercy on them that receive discipline, and that diligently seek after his judgments. You see, so the Lord, he teaches, man. He shows you the right way. You know, he has mercy on you to show you the right way. You know, a lot of dudes in the world, they try to, they try to sun you and make you seem like you don't know what you're talking about by being prideful. But what gain is that? You know, the scriptures say we're supposed to do everything to the edification of our neighbor. I'm going to show you that our culture as Israel through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai is to teach one, man. You know? Get the next one. Uh, okay, that's fine. 
<laughs> nah, that's all. That's gonna keep going a little bit. Okay. All right, this is this is going back to the book of Acts, chapter eight, and I'm gonna read thirty one again. And he said, "How can I, except some man should guide me?" And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this: He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamb dumb before his shears, so open he not his mouth. And his humiliation. And his humiliate humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. Mm-hmm. And that was basically talking about Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai, he was that sacrificial lamb for us. That's why we have this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Because of Yahweh Shai's death, he unlocked the seals. He tells that in uh, Revelation, the fifth chapter. We could go to the next scripture. All right, All right we're going to go to the book of John. Chapter 14. We're going to go to verse 14. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Yeah. So the, it says right there, the Holy Spirit is what's going to teach us all things, man. You know, we're going to be taught all things. Like, like the scriptures say, uh, Peter, the Lord told Peter, it's like if Peter told the Lord, Lord, thou knowest all things. And we make up the body of Yahweh Shai. He said, whatsoever my father have told me, I have told you. So each brother of the body of Yahweh Shai is like a power ranger, so to speak. And Yahweh Shai, he's like that big top head power ranger, so to speak, when they all came together in a conglomerate and made that big power ranger. You know, that's like the body of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? The house of David. Each brother plays a building block in the Lord's church, so to speak. You know? So through, so through the collection of the Akim, we can do all things through Mashiach, through, through Yabash Mashiach, you know, through this wisdom. This is the book of Philippians, chapter 2, and verse, start at 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is the most high which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. That's right, man. So we're supposed to work out our own salvation, man. Okay? With fear and trembling. All right? And it's how Bashmael Shah's spirit within us to do of his good will and pleasure. It's not of ourselves, so it's the Holy Spirit guiding us. Um, I do want to pull out this precept real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, and verse 4. For into a malicious, malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. All right? And that's why the Lord says we got to make our body a living sacrifice, because... The Holy Spirit is not dwelling inside, you know, a, a man that's that's eating pork, eating shrimp, crab, lobster, eating abominations. You know, you smoking weed, you are smoking cigarettes. All right, this is this is why it's important, you know, to take care of your temple because this is where this is where the Holy Spirit is dwelling in. All right, and um, I'm gonna read verse. Oh yeah, con. Verse Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that is without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. You see? So hey, we gotta take care of, of, of our of our of our temple. Alright? And that's why this Holy Spirit, um, the Holy Spirit is not dwelling, you know, really is it's, it's, it's not ordained by the Heavenly Father, but two-thirds of Israel, 
look look at the way that they're living look look at the way that they're um taking care of that temple all right you know i just want to you know say that real quick that was your point brother because that's the spirit because literally i was just writing down wisdom solomon 105 so that was the spirit that you brought down all right uh you get the next one Come Philippians. On, sure. Come on, this is so this is the book of philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 i could do all things through yahweh shah of mashiach which strengthens me mm -hmm. that's right we can do all things you know so going back to what you know the holy spirit will teach you all things we can do all things through yahweh shah you know the scriptures say that we have an unction from the holy one and we know all things no precinct of that. I'm gonna look at it. Lord willing. Oh, shit. I think it's First John. Uh, First John two and twenty. You mind reading that? Yep. Yeah. First John two. What was that? Twenty. Two and twenty. God. All right. This is the book of First John chapter two and verse twenty. But ye have an unction from the Holy One. And ye know all things. That's right, man. We have an unction from Yahweh Bashem El Shai, and we know all things through the spirit of power Yahweh Bashem El Shai. You know? So it's, it, but it, what's that unction? When you go into the word unction, it means an anointing. You see, so the Lord has anointed us with his Holy Spirit to know all things through, 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 through this wisdom, man. Okay? Now, we may not be wise according to this world, but we're wise according to the wisdom of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And that's the true wisdom. That's the true riches. So that's the point. All right? Yep, you know, so yeah, we're gonna close out with that. All right, Lord willing, you brothers and you know, sisters that might be tuning in, uh, was was edified, and we're gonna close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Kadosh. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Those are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, and also we want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring. Toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And also, we want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children that's believing and that's serving the Lord to the best of their ability. We want to say Shalom at the water. Yahweh Bashem Al Shai for giving us the Holy Spirit to make this lesson. Lord willing, to the next lesson, we're going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball. DTA. DTA. Shalom.